rented a Dodge Promaster 1500. We rented that. We had quite a dilemma trying to figure out how to be able to move everything. So we looked at rental cars. Obviously a car was gonna be enough and a pickup truck wasn't gonna be quite big enough. The only other option that we could find was a moving truck, like a U-Haul or a Penske. And the cheapest we could get one of those for was $2,200. Now that did include unlimited mileage, but that didn't include gas, which we'll go over how much we spent on that later. Right. Or the hotels that we would have to stay in, eating anything on the road, um, it would have made things drastically more expensive. Yeah. And when we looked into anything, every rental company, because of COVID, was not allowing one-way rentals on these larger vans. So you would go into the website and try to put in, you know, to change the drop-off location instead of it being the same as where you picked up, and it would immediately just nope. shut you down. Nope. Can't happen. So our options were to either sell my mattress which wasn't gonna happen i tried that one it yeah didn't work and then even still i don't know if we would have fit everything in the bed of a pickup truck it would have been a stretch mm -hmm. so it was either do a pickup truck which was still going to be close to a thousand and have to downsize our stuff or pay two thousand two hundred for a u-haul or a penske which was also still way too much space yeah we didn't we don't have need a that. lot of stuff no it would have been extra so even though Hertz and all these other companies were telling us no, I decided it was worth a shot to go on and get somebody on the phone. So since I've got AAA, shout out AAA, sponsor us, I love you. you. You're amazing. So I called Hertz with my AAA discount and I got somebody on the phone and basically just told them the situation. And I was like, the website's telling me that I can't get a van, but I know some of your locations are under private ownership so maybe there's a way to get around this. And basically by asking the right questions and having this person patiently walk through the process with me, by changing the date, changing the pickup time, and then searching through different pickup and drop off locations, we were able to figure out a location that was willing to give us a Ram Promaster van for cross country. And then through this person's amazing help tweaking the dates even more, it was originally gonna be 900 and we got it down to 700. So, moral of the story, call and talk to someone. Call. Be friendly. Schmooze them. <laughs> Number two, be flexible. We were really lucky because we we had told our landlord that we were yeah. going to leave in two weeks, but it wasn't the kind of thing where somebody was moving in right away and he wasn't super strict on us having to be out at a certain point. So, even though we had paid rent through July 31st, I mean, if we had left on August 1st or 2nd, it probably would have been okay. Yeah. So being flexible with your date and with your time is much easier in these kinds of circumstances. Yep. It's also worth a couple tries because I had called in another time and didn't have much luck. But like, I decided to call a second time mm -hmm. and I got a person that was more helpful. Be friendly and just kind of push on them. Be like, what if I was willing to change it to a different date? Would that change the price? or let them know that you're willing to drive farther to pick it up and you're willing to drive farther when you're going to drop it off. Ask if they'll search the general zip code or surrounding zip codes and have those zip codes ready. And you'd be surprised how much you can drop the price. We only ended up paying a third of what we, we were, were originally gonna originally have to. Gonna pay. And that was including insurance. Yeah, that included the extra insurance like on that. Like the extra daily insurance yep. just in case anything happened to our van. Yep. Thanks guys. Thanks Hertz, thanks AAA, sponsor us. <laughs>